Oh, ho, ho. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Today, I'm going to show you something a little interesting and different. Um, so I found this a couple years ago, and I don't know, it's not that really that interesting. But uh, I'm going to dismantle it. So I wanted to film it and show you guys what it is before I dismantle it. This is what it is. What is this, you say? It's just a standard TV yoke. But here's what's special about this, quote, standard TV yoke. Usually, almost always, this is the only one I've ever seen like this, um, in this style. This is for a big CRT monitor, probably a 20 inch, uh, maybe a little smaller. And um, basically, the ferrite core is one solid piece. See? Normally, they have clamps on them, and that's the way they usually are. Okay, so here are some common, uh, some common sizes and things on these uh, on these guys, these TV yokes, and uh, they come in all sorts of uh, arrangements. It seems like they're all slightly different, but they usually have a very similar winding style. Um, so basically, here's what a standard ferrite cord looks like inside of one of these. So that's the guy inside here, different, different one, of course. And uh, as you can see, they always that I've always found, except for this one, they always come apart. And uh, you can see on these, they have these little pieces of uh, metal that clip them together. These you can see really well. So you can just pop those clips off, and uh, then the pieces come apart. So what they do is they actually make the ferrite. They usually press this stuff, and then they come back and they've, uh, in the mold that they've uh, pressed this, they've created this weak spot all the way around. You can see the detail there. And what they do is they come around and they just probably tap on, tap on them in the right spot, crack them in half, and now they have a perfect match. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how they break, as long as they match. When you put them back together, there's very, very limited, and you can see they really fit together if I try to twist it. If I don't have it right, it's really easy to twist. As soon as I get it in the right spot, it's really hard to twist. So they, they fit together very, very well as if there is no break there at all. And those clamps hold them together. But, like I said, this one is one solid piece all the way around. And uh, it's very unique. This jig here actually has all the points on it and uh, the slots and exactly where they want to lay the wire. Okay, where normally you have something like this. It's completely covered in glue. The points are actually wound on a jig. Okay, and the jig itself is actually what's holding these in place while they wrap it, then they uh, epoxy it. Then they just stick it in here, and that's it. Totally different, uh, totally different style here than the normal average style. So I just thought I'd show you that. Thought it was quite unique and different and, uh, and interesting. So I'm going to unwind this right now because uh, I want this Litz wire. This is also a rare one in the fact that it's not glued. It's only glued in one spot. And that's a different coil winding, actually. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know where the ends are. Kind of odd, huh? They must come up here somewhere. There's also a couple of windings on the inside. Down here. But uh, most of them, these are two separate coils. And uh, we're going to see if we can get that Litz wire out without messing it up. Consider it it's not glued or epoxied. It's just sitting in there. So, there you go. Pretty cool. Never seen one like that. Let me know if you have. Alright guys, something even more awesome. Earlier I could not find out where these, uh, these lead leads came from in here, like this. And uh, there was wire in there. I thought it was just a loop, but it's not. It's a whole second layer. Check that out. And this stuff is soft, so it'll come out. And I can still salvage that wire, too. So, awesome. That's a ton of lits recycled. Lits is sort of hard to come by.
Alright, well there we go. There's the solid ferrite core. Pretty nice. It's really a lot thicker than I thought it was too, which is great. The Let's wire. These two are single pieces and uh, it's thicker wire and this is uh, four individual pieces and it's thinner but that's quite a bit of uh, nice lits. Now this style of lits wire is not too hard to make yourself but I figured if it's already pre-made it's still good I'm going to be using it and uh, then of course the uh, plastic parts but uh, there you go that's the first one I've ever seen like that let me know if you've seen one like it leave a comment peace and love God bless you guys have a good day bye